My name is Yishai, and I love to scream to Hashem all day, every day. I would describe my music as a, a punch in the face of godliness. I would compare it to old school punk rock. Moshiach Oi is a Hasidic punk rock band from Long Island, New York, who praise God by screaming at the top of their lungs. Their goal is to bring the Mashiach, or Messiah, into the world through their music. We're here in the Karlbach Shul, as it's well known. And here in New York, here the Karlbach Shul is also a mecca for people who wouldn't fit in otherwise in a shul. So it's entirely appropriate for us to be here because, you know, we don't necessarily fit in with Jewish programming. And for me to play here is an honor and a pleasure. I, so punk rock isn't really a spectator sport, you know. You can know, all like get up and move and like mosh, smash into me, punch me in the face. The crowd was awesome. The crowd was dancing, the crowd was lively. That's, that's what I expect from the Karlbach Shul because this, this is a place that the roots are about being alive, dancing, singing, you know. We got that here. I wasn't disappointed. So we, we played for, you know, we played like more than half our set. And then I was told by the rabbi who was sitting behind me, he's like, yo, you guys got to turn it down. What happened? I don't know. I was singing and the uh, next thing I knew I couldn't hear myself. See, people think there's like a half Mashiach volume. No. <laughs> We don't have a halfway. Yeah. People complained, they said it was too loud for them. What can I say? I guess Upper West Side isn't ready for Mashiach. Other people turned down the PA and the mic shut off. They shut us off in the middle of the song, better get ready. Ironically, they're not ready. That's what it comes down to. It's a punk rock show. If the neighbors don't complain, it's probably not authentic. We want to like really shake people up and like get them out of their seat. This song is about this world we live in. This world is shaker. This world is nothing. There's only Hashem. People, wake up! Mashiach means the Redeemer, and Oi means like, it's like an exclamation point. Some Jews are like, you know, we want Mashiach. Yeah, every day we pray three times a day, we want Mashiach, Mashiach. So we're like, no, it's like Mashiach, Oi. You know, like, we want Mashiach, Oi. Like now, like in your face, Mashiach. When I'm on stage screaming, I'm trying as hard as I can to only focus on one thing, that I'm doing this for the sake of God, and not, God forbid, for my own sake, only to, you know, make God's name great in the world. The members of Mashiach Oi are part of a unique subgroup of Hasidic Judaism that call themselves Nanachs, who can be seen in Israel dancing in the streets and on tanks, singing Na Nach Nachman Nachman Meuman, which is the signature of their spiritual leader, Rebbe Nachman. They also put up stickers and graffiti that bear his holy name, and believe the more Na Nach they spread, the sooner the Messiah will come. Long Beach. Welcome to the Mashiach Roy Palace. This is where the magic happens. This, we call this place Camp Shabbos. This is just, this is like the studio. You know, this is like the concept, like the brain. And what you see live is more like the heart and the lungs. <laughs> I grew up on Long Island. My mom's a convert from when I was a kid. I grew up going to yeshiva, and growing up going to yeshiva made me hate Judaism and hate Jews. Like, when I was a teenager, I, was, I didn't want to tell people I was Jewish because I went to yeshiva full of rabbis who were just like full of themselves and told you what to do. After like age like 14, 15, I just like stopped. I just like started doing lots of drugs. Like, I got really into punk rock. I used to go to a lot of punk shows, and that was my life, you know? I don't even remember like five years of my life because I was like, totally like a drugged out zombie. He went into the gutter, he went into the, the darkness, and they say like in, in Hasidic thought, like 
in order to really um, really get to like the highest heights, you have to sometimes go to the lowest depths. After hitting rock bottom, Yishai met Mike, who helped him turn his life around and rediscover his Jewish roots. They recruited Mitchell and Pesach, and Mashiach Oy was born. Mike, the guitar player Mashiach Oy, is a very special person. You know, he's a very close friend of mine. All the people I'm really close with, people who are good friends of mine, are people I really I like, have a lot of respect for, people who like, have really like, taught me a lot. Because all the friends I used to have, they didn't teach me anything. They taught me how to get high. Thank God, eventually, like, I found my own way and came back to on my own. And now I'm able to, like, reinterpret what it means to be a Jew on my own terms. We're at Earth Matters Cafe. It's our Gattic grocery and cafe on the Lower East Side. We're here uh, learning the holy teachings of Tzadik Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. have been uh, doing this every Thursday night for a little while now. People have told me that what I do is sacrilegious. I remember when I was in Yeshiva, there was one guy who heard my song Shema Yisrael, and the, the song is based on a traditional Jewish prayer, you know, the tune Shema Yisrael. That's the actual traditional Jewish tune and prayer. And I played the song for one guy, and he said that I'm like taking the prayer and like lowering it. And I think that's just like stupidity because sometimes you have to express it in different ways that people in the world today can relate to. Not everyone can relate to going to like a synagogue, like sitting down, it can be kind of boring. If I scream shmai on the top of my lungs, maybe it'll make people get into it a little more, like really like feel it. You're supposed to feel it. You're supposed to be like on fire for it. So here's how you bring light into the world. First, you get up in the morning and you scream, Die ah! And then you say, Na nach nach ma nach man reuman. Na nach nach ma nach man reuman. And then say it again, Na nach nach ma nach man reuman. I would recommend spend the whole day saying Na nach nach ma nach man reuman. After that day, your life will probably be completely changed. Only after saying Na nach like 500,000 times and like screaming to Hashem from the bottom of your lungs to the bottom of your gut, then only after all that, I would recommend maybe like opening up the Torah, like opening up a book and reading. Thank you, Warm Mashiach Boy. We have CDs and propaganda in the back. Please enjoy Walker Mashiach because he's here now. Amen, Katie Ratzel. Bye, boy.